the directors are Josh and John Baker. Um, they're twins. They're very good directors. Um, I'm, it's an honor to be working with them. Um, they're very funny. They're very outgoing, but they're serious about their craft, and that's what I respect them for. He's very lonely and isolated. Doesn't talk to anybody because his um, mother passed. So he's like, I had nobody but my father and my brother. And my brother's in jail, and my father doesn't really talk to me. I haven't talked to my father, so really, I'm just by myself. I'm a lone wolf, you know what I mean? So yeah, he's very quiet, just talk, keeps to himself. When I first meet him, when he opens that door, I'm like, why are you here? Or after all this, you're gonna come just show up to my house? And I don't talk to him much. I push him to the side like I don't like a stranger, you know. And I want I, I get to know him, I get to know his vibes, I get to know his feelings, his emotions, and I start getting used to him, you know? And then Millie comes in, she helps out with it, she backs me up whenever I need help, and we start becoming friends. Hey, Vale here. Now, hundreds of movies come out every year, but very few are hits. Here are America's top five highest grossing movies, adjusted for inflation, according to box office Mojo. Okay, number one, Gone with the Wind. Released in 1939, it's one of the world's first genuine blockbusters, with a grand total of 1,786,074,500 dollars. Number two, Star Wars from 1977, the George Lucas space opera that launched a thousand action figures and almost as many sequels and prequels, still reigns supreme in the Star Wars universe with a total take of 1,574,577,200 dollars. Number three, The Sound of Music from 1965, The Hills Are Alive, with the sound of 1,258,951,900 dollars in domestic ticket sales. Number four, E.T. The Extraterrestrial. The biggest movies of 1982 is also the fourth biggest movies of all time, with a grand total of 1,253,992,300 dollars. Number five, Titanic from 1997. James Cameron's award-winning film took in 1,197,594,300 dollars during its theatrical run. So, do you think that it's valid that these films made that much money? Let me know in the comments below. See ya.